What's up, guys? So this Matthew guy and uh, Jack, Jack been going back and forth uh, because of something that happened with McKenzie like a year ago. No shit, a year ago. But Matthew put out, sorry, Grace. I bet Keemstar still won't report this and will side with Jack. I have no idea who Grace is, but this is her message to him. It says, yo, drop the text of you and McKenzie or he or her being into you, they'll help prove your point. Also, keep this D DL down low. This shit is retarded. Bet, thank you. It's on the pod, but bet. Love you, Grace. You deserve better. I post, I post screenshots of it, honestly, because she's acting like y'all were never, ever talking. You too, you too, bro. I hope you get out of there. You don't deserve to be treated like that. And then McKinsey had something to say, and, well, fuck. It says, Obviously, this dumb bitch that is still in love with my boyfriend and continues to talk bad about me, but acts like my friend to my face, is still trying to break us up. You are just a pathetic... You are just pathetic, Grace. Okay. Like, I read her story, McKinsey's story, and, and I... If Matthew did what McKenzie said she did, that that's straight up bullshit. What Matthew did, I, and I I'm 100% behind that. But McKenzie running to Jake when she was with Matthew on the same night that this all happened, kind of fucked up also. So kind of McKenzie McKinley, sorry McKinley. Why do I keep calling her McKenzie? McKinley. Uh. And Matthew were both in the wrong that night. Like, because McKinley put out the post telling everything that happened that night. And if I'm to believe everything that happened that night on her post, then Matthew and McKinley were both in the wrong that night. Matthew's in the wrong for being a straight fucking asshole. And McKinley's in the wrong for going and hanging out in Jack's bedroom that night. This seems like a pretty fucked up thing for both of them. Both of them are in the wrong. That's just my opinion. 